Bom dia. I want to greet everyone in Rede Nacional de Grupos Católicos LGBT. I'm Father Jim Martin. I'm a Jesuit priest, and I'm speaking to you here uh, from the Jesuit community in New York City. Mainly, I just want to say thank you, obrigado, for your amazing work in helping LGBT Catholics feel more a part of what is, after all, their church too. I think we can look at the, uh, the example of someone like Pope Francis, who has continually reached out in small ways uh, to LGBT people over the course of his papacy. We see him being more welcome. We see him using the word gay. We see him reaching out to LGBT people. We know that he has LGBTQ friends. We know that he has appointed uh, many cardinals and archbishops and bishops who are LGBTQ friendly. So we do that uh, to follow Pope Francis. But more importantly, we do it to follow Jesus. Jesus is always reaching out to people on the margins. Just think of him reaching out to a Roman centurion, someone who is not even Jewish. He welcomes him and he heals the man's servant. He reaches out to the woman at the well, right, who's a woman and a Samaritan and who is in an irregular sexual relationship. And what does Jesus do? He doesn't reject or condemn her. He has a long conversation with her and he reveals himself to her as the living water. And then in the story of Zacchaeus, he reaches out to someone who was seen as a, a sinner, right, who was on the outskirts of society, uh, and who can, who can be seen as an emblem for the LGBTQ person, not because LGBTQ people are any more sinful than anyone else, we're all sinful, but because Jesus offers this man a word of welcome and welcomes him into the community. So what you're doing uh, is not just what Pope Francis asks us to do, which is to go out and meet people in this culture of, of encounter, as he says, uh, this culture of accompaniment. But we're doing much more importantly what Jesus asks us to do, which is to go out to people who feel like they're on the margins. Because for Jesus, there's never an us and them, right? There's never an us and them. It's always about an us. So thank you for helping LGBTQ people uh, all over the world, um, especially in Brazil. Uh, find a place in the church, find their home in the church, know that God loves them, uh, and that they are welcome. So, uh, I don't know very much Portuguese, but one word I do know, and which is very appropriate to say to all of you, is obrigado. Thanks very much.